Hello, County Road School students. I'm so happy to be reading our, our book to you, The Snail and the Whale. Um, this is a great opportunity for us to have a little story time with our families. Um, this week, you're going to have assignments to read each night. And then throughout this week at school, we're going to have some really cool things. So on Thursday, we're going to be watching the movie. Everyone in school will be watching The Snail and the Whale. And on Friday, we're going to be having a, an aquarium visit our school to go along with the book. So why don't we get started? So The Snail and the Whale, the author is Julia Donaldson. Remember, does anyone know what the author does? <gasps> wow, I see a lot of hands. I think the author puts the words in the book, right? The author writes the story. The illustrator's name is Axel Scheffler. The, il the illustrator draws all the pictures and does all the artwork. So let's get started. The Snail and the Whale. Hmm, interesting. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray blue humpback whale. This is a rock as, blo as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed inside. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, don't wiggle, stay still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffed and sighed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a ride. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, ride wanted around the world. And look, there on the book, he wrote with his little trail, ride wanted around the world. It took me three tries to get through this page. I don't know why I kept making mistakes, but that's okay. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars in enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. Last page for tonight. This is the sea, so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. The end for tonight. Now, if you go to the um, email that we sent parents, there is uh, a great link to visit um, a live aquarium for tonight. Thank you so much for reading the first part of The Snail and the Whale with me. Have an awesome night.